Thomas and I are going to have a, just a series of videos real quick from his chair side experience because after hundreds of them, he's got tips and he's got uh, knowledge that he knows how these things work and don't work. I mean, yeah. after all these, you know stuff. Well, the unique thing is, is that you work with different doctors. And different doctors. You work with oral surgeons, perios, GPs. Light hand, and heavy hand. Heavy hand. Yeah. People that has done several of these cases and... Um, and they just know how to handle things. Or they don't, out. or they don't. Right. That's really what we and, want to kind right. of talk and, about and here. Yeah. How, to, how do we make Chrome work effectively, whether you've done right. 100, right. or whether this is your first one. Right, if something like, goes wrong, how to, how to use the system to your benefit yeah. to be able to be successful. Yeah. So that's, that's kind of like what we're looking at here. So step one with every Chrome case is try, to, try the pin guide in. So the pin guide's gonna go pin, in. The pin, pin guide's gonna go in the patient, obviously. You're gonna make sure that you could see the windows, seed it, the teeth, uh, the incisal edges of the teeth, seed it, uh, buckle cusps on either side, that it's seated. Very important that the guide is held tight. Yeah, held tight. Now there's something that yeah. happens quite often with these, the, the vestibule's not deep enough. Right, and, and that, happens on the, that happens on the lower. All the lower, and, and sometimes on the upper, and, right. and, and the, patient's in, the patient's awake. Absolutely. And they're in so, pain. So, so that's the first. Do? So obviously you're going to do a little topical in the sulcus area. And maybe you can, and push, then you can, you can push it in a little bit. But if you can't, can't then what's going to happen is then, then the next step is to reflect. So on a case like this, we have a dentate case. And um, the reflection of this, looking at the, the prosthesis, is that we're going to do straight bone reduction. And so we're not going to be concerned about the papilla. The only time you're going to be concerned about the papilla is if the patient has thin keratinized tissue, real thin. And, uh, but we're going to take some bone away so there'll be enough tissue. So one of the great things about Chrome is that when this seats in the patient's mouth, if you use this as a guide, and I'm going to use the, show the side view of it, then this replicates, this shows us where the, the, the uh, distal, most posterior, Osteotomy is going to be, and you can reflect or release distal off that blast box or the bar. Just do a, a facial release there, and on, on both sides, and then you can reflect your your facial down. And, and that the way we design the metal, it is going to fit on the outside of the tissue because exactly. it doesn't touch bone. It does. All right, so you're floating right. this thing in there. So you're floating it in. You you're sitting it. The patient lying down. You're physically sitting it on this on this on the patient. And then you're taking a 15 or a perio, um, a perio probe, and you're making an index for this in the patients on the tissue. Hmm. So when you take this off, then you know that's where you're going to release. Hmm. Then you're going to go straight across because this is going to be a, a reduction a, a case, and and reflect then up to where you need to reflect. Okay, and some and sometimes you reflect up to the top of to the, the fixation nose, yeah, base, yeah, conservative, yeah. but sometimes you go all the way up. Most no. of the cases I see, they're just extending the flap all the way up. Right, all the way up, because cool. yeah. um, another, another thing is that once you flap it, and you, you put these together to make sure that um, the seats positively, once again, in the patient's mouth, so it seats positively, and, um, and the tissue's above and it. The tissue is above it. Right. So we'll take an instrument with a Minnesota, and just kind of make sure that this release, it's, it's, it's enough release. So before you start yeah. drilling, all you the tissue spinning. is elevated above the fixed Exactly. Because exactly. you don't want to drill through the tissue and exactly. you don't want it in your way. Yeah, okay. absolutely. So all then right. what we do is, is that now we're going to use our, then we're going to use our, 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 say in this case, it's going to be a short drill. It's going to be green. And we're going to go um, through the pin guide and drill through there. Through, now Through the fixation fix, base. Fixation base, yeah. absolutely. The, um, and, and Thomas, how deep do you drill? So when you drill, <laughs> make sure that you drill through to the serrated area. So I would say about two millimeters shy of that green line. The reason for that is, is that um, when you come back and you tap the fixation pin into that drill osteotomy site, you will get primary stability on the, on the palatal. In the, in the, you do that mostly in the maxilla? Maxilla and the mandible. Mandible, I usually drill through. You gotta kind of feel because, how, how Yeah, because you have D1 bone. Yeah. 
And we, so we usually drill right through. But I've seen often where the drill yes. drops all the way and drill all the way and we yes. and you almost can't stop, but you Absolutely. have to stop. Because if you go all the way and all you can do is push, push it in, you're not gonna get stability. And you can end up, if you're in the you long surgery, it. yeah, the fixation base can move, move a little bit. Yeah. Now, a solution there is to start, if you have a set of long pins, is to just put the long pins in and make sure that you just tap it. And you'll hear the difference in sound between when you're in bone and when you're out of bone, because right. it has a dull, definitive when sound. When you're, you're tapping, tapping the noise changes. Right. Yeah. And um, so a tip to, to use is to take a mirror um, and then take the head off of it mm -hmm. and use your um, mallet and tap it. Put it, it fits right perfectly it on this bone. Keeps the mallet out of the mouth. It keeps the mallet out of the mouth. You don't hit the lip. And it just kind of gives you that thing. So drill all your pins first, then, then tap it in place and then remove your, uh, your pin guy. Yeah, and, and actually what we, just to clarify that last part, we always say drill pin, don't tap. No. Put the pin in, then go to the next site, next site. It doesn't matter yeah. about cross yeah. and all that. Right. One, two, three, four is fine. Right. Get them all in, and the entire time, from start to finish, you have to hold it down. The assistant, somebody's Apply pressure. applying pressure. Never let it loose, because if right. anything comes loose, everything is off. The whole time, tap them all in while you're holding, Release, take the um, take the pin guide off, and right. you're all set. Yeah. So yeah, so um, the if if the bar moves during the pin process, you'll have a heavy occlusion yeah. on one side. Yeah, or and or, that's it. Or, or no, or other or things. No. Or other things. Right. Right. Exactly. So it's got to be got to be set. Now. Right. So right. now now it's pinned, and our flap is below the bar, and um, then we're gonna score the bone. Yep. So you take a and straight. That's, that's our and that's our next module. Right. We're gonna we're gonna talk about that. <laughs> All right. So, so pinning, fixation. That. Fixation. So the trick to use is to use a mirror head. Tap. Use the, the head on here. Tap it in on, on while you're holding it in place. Um, sometimes we put our thumb behind it in the patient's mouth just to reflect some of that that tapping. Notify the patient yeah. that you are right, going to be right. tapping. Tell you're tapping. Tell right. you're tapping. Just a little pressure. They get it once you tap. And them. work the drill. Don't. Because what I see a lot too oh, is, yeah. is that you will find that this is this is real tight when you're drilling at 2,000 RPMs and it'll bound up. Mm -hmm. So work it, work it, work it, work the bone yeah. in this, yeah. and not. And if the drill breaks, it's not the end of the world. You can use your pilot drill in your surgical kit to finish it, and use this for a fixation. Yeah, just leave the drill. Just in. leave a drill in there yeah. and use it for a fixation. Doesn't happen too That's often, it. but it'll happen. It happens. All right, so don't forget to subscribe. That's it. Subscribe to our YouTube <laughs> to channel. To our YouTube channel, yeah.